kids stories and more is here so let's all gather near art and cooking movement too reading science all for you jump and shout and cheer hooray kids stories and more is here today houston we're counting down from five five four three two one. Blast off! Hi friends, Mimi's back and today we're going into outer space. I have my alien friends all with me and I have a great book to share with you. This is called Me and My Place in Space. That's us. We're going into outer space. You ready? This book is written by Joan Sweeney. Another way to say that somebody wrote a book is to say that they are the author. And it is illustrated or the pictures drawn by Annette Cable. Let's get into the story. Now, normally we start at the beginning of the story, but I want to show you something at the end of the book. Look at this. It is a glossary of terms that we're going to see throughout this story. We have galaxy, Milky Way, moon, and so on. So we're going to refer back to this when we see one of those words. This is me on my place in space, the planet Earth. Earth is the planet that you and I live on. Tonight, I can see the moon from my place in space. <gasps> moon. I know we all see it in the sky every night, but let's take a look at what moon is. A moon is a ball of rock that moves around a planet. What planet? Do you remember the planet I said we live on? Earth, that's right, good job. The moon is a ball of rock that travels in a path around the Earth, just like the Earth travels in a path around the sun. The sun is really a fiery star as big as a million Earths. So bright and hot, it lights and heats. Here's Earth. Here's the sun. Our whole solar system, nine different planets, including Earth, that travel around and around the sun. Now in 2006, they decided that Pluto wasn't considered a regular planet, it was considered a dwarf planet. But this book was written before then. Another thing to note is that there's an acronym that we can learn together to learn all of the planets in order from closest to the sun to farthest away. And it's my very excellent mother just served us nachos. The beginning letter of each of those words starts the same as the beginning letter of each of the planets. My begins with M like Mercury. Very begins like v with a V like Venus. Excellent begins with an E like Earth. Mother begins with an M like Mars. Just begins like a, with a J like Jupiter. Served begins with an S like in Saturn. Us begins with a U like in Uranus. An N for nachos. Same as Neptune, both begin with an N. On Mercury, the planet closest to the sun, days are burning hot and nights are icy cold. The sun comes up in the west on Venus. Its gleaming cloud cover makes it the brightest planet of them all. My place in space, beautiful Earth, is the third planet closest to the sun and the only one in our solar system where living things grow. Long ago, there may have been life on Mars, but now Mars is rusty, dusty, and cold. What kinds of things live on our Earth? K-12 
Can you name a few? Did I hear animals? That's right. What other living things are on our planet? <gasps> yes, plants. Good thinking. Anything else? Of course, us people. Silly Mimi. Jupiter is a massive ball of gas, bigger than all the other planets combined. Saturn's wide rings are made of ice particles, some big as houses. Holy moly. On Uranus, it never gets warm, even though the sun shines 42 years in a row. Neptune looks like a big blue twin of Uranus. Its great dark spot is a giant cyclone where winds blow at 700 miles an hour. And Pluto is an ice ball so far away. The sun is like a dot in the distance. But as big as our solar system is, it is only one tiny part of the Milky Way. That's our galaxy, made up of hundreds of billions of stars, some with solar systems of their own. And the Milky Way is only one of the many, many galaxies in the universe. So many, you might run out of numbers to count them. And the universe is so gigantic, you could travel for trillions of years and never get to the other side. Whoa. Sometimes I wonder, way out in space, is there another galaxy like mine? Another solar system like mine? Another sun like mine? Maybe another planet like Earth? With another someone like me? Could be. What do you think, friends? Do you think that there could be another galaxy, another sun, another planet like ours? You know, do some research on your own. Be those scientists I know you could be. And until next time, we're signing off from planet Earth. Bye.